First rising stage actor Koro Raf plays the two dimensional character Kunle and Philly. He went from Kunle, who was a leader of a renegade group who seek to endanger society changes through violence, to becoming Philly Olua, who is now a coach and mentor in Grace House, a well known shelter for the homeless. The script already indicated that there are two different kinds of persons. I mean, you see one person. You see one side of him leading people that are aggressive, people that are, that are frustrated about the way uh, the, the, the society has turned out to be, about oppression, they are tired of it. And when you lead th that, those kind of people, you are a different person entirely. And then you also see a switch, him now a leader in Grace House, leading disadvantaged youth, helping them to discover more about life, making them realize that it's, does, it's not the end. I mean, take a look at youths, for example, I'm sorry to mention this, but youths, a lot of young people in Osho, the under the bridge that are, you know, for them, it might seem like it's the end. But imagine people like that being taken into a, a homeless shelter, giving a rehabilitation, like training them again and sending them back to school and life continues. That's what Filiulua now does. So uh, there are two extreme characters and for it being extreme made it actually a bit easy for me to, you know, uh, yeah, pull off. The big surprise for this production, however, is the fact that the executive producer, Joke Silva, who has always professed an undying love for the stage, resisted the temptation to join in the cast. There was no temptation whatsoever. <laughs> I love theatre, yes, but you know, this is, is just such a triple threat production. You need to be able to sing, dance and act, you know, and to executive, produ to, to executive produce a production of this magnitude, there's really no time for, for all, the, you, you know, you just have to fo focus on the producing. It will come the storm, but time can never be undone, never to be The journey for Heartbeats was a long one. Silva, who is now more prominent on screen acting, strived relentlessly to convince investors about the viability of stage production in Nigeria. She went as far as picking up a marker board at various fora to canvas for support and investment. You know, 300,000 people to watch one play over a space of three years using various not, not cinemas, various um, pro, uh, spaces around Nigeria. This is, for me, is a short-term goal that it is possible. It's been an incredible journey. It's been an incredible journey. And, you know, just getting it up there on that stage, that's stage one. <laughs> That's stage one. Now stage two is getting the people to come and see it, you know, and we're getting a good buzz. Those who come to watch it are very excited. They love it. They absolutely love it. Yes, we've got an incredibly talented cast, you know, yes. 
I believe there is a tremendous opportunity for investment in, in the creative industry. And uh, you, you can see with what has happened tonight, uh, even within during the week, you can see the turnout. Uh, and we believe that it is, it, it, it's, uh, creative industry is a place to really invest, you know. Uh, and we expect that the returns, you know, will be worth it at the end of the day. Written by Tosino Tudeko and Debo Oluwa Tuminu, and directed by Najiti Dede, Heartbeat, the musical, is a tale of hope. The songs are original compositions produced by Fusa Lawal. Importantly, 25 years of seeing that it's not for grace. 